Hey guys, Kev here, and yep, another video on the GOAT Tools Multi-Tool. So, this is going to be the short version. This is going to be the first impressions short version that you can watch if you don't want to watch that hour and 20 long mess of a video. Um, so, I don't know if we're going to get to full review status on this guy because... I'm not very happy with it. Um, I see the point of it. I see what they were going for, but I think they needed, I think it needed more time in the oven. I know it took two years or whatever from when people backed it and they made a shit ton of money on this. Um, I should say they got a shit ton of money during the Kickstarter. I can't tell you what they've made uh, profit wise or anything, but um, so they had, you know, pressure. They had to get this night or this product out there um and probably didn't want to make it wait three years but i think it needed a little more refinement and my biggest issue with it is what we're going to call clumping and then the other issue is the swapping um now i didn't buy a bunch of extra tools i bought just an extra blade but you would think on a modular um system that you could swap the existing things around to where you want them well that doesn't really work here and we'll talk about that um and there's a few reasons for why there these issues exist and i think um i'll try to get into those as i go forward but real quick a uh, rundown of the what you get stock at least on my version you get the pliers which are nice i like them they're spring loaded they're not like strong spring but i i like how it's set up um, now I will say if you, um, it's either if you tighten too much or loosen too much on the pivots, um, the, it just won't work. Like it'll stay open like this. Um, I had to tweak the pivots during that super long video to get it to just shut like this. It would want to stay open because this was too loose or too tight. Something was going on there. So you have to have that set. You have to have these pivots tightened to the perfect tightness. And that's annoying on any tool, because why? Well, the, as you use things, it's going to shift, right? Like, that screw is going to loosen or tighten as you use the product. Usually loosen, but um, with this tool, I'm not sure. I think it can actually tighten, too, because of the way you're going up and down and everything. Um so that's something to be weary of that in the field over time, you could end up with a tool that doesn't want to close or, you know, just has some kind of issues. Now, granted, they do kind of combat that a little bit. That right there was one of my uh, issues. Um, you can combat that a little bit by the fact that they have the tool that works on the pivots installed on the product. So you can take this out tweak as needed and then put it back now downside is when you take it out you are missing that tool here so now it'll allow you to tighten it in my opinion allow you to tighten it a little further than you should be able to then you have trouble squeezing the tool back in then you got to like try to readjust and get the right setting so you can slide this in and still have free range of motion it's just uh it's it's just very clunky in my opinion in terms of that um, but the tool is there, so I want to mention that. Um, it does not come with scales. It comes just with steel. Um, and I don't think it looks very good without the scales. Um, it's a bit basic as is, but um, it definitely looks better with the scales installed. So that's an extra cost to you. I can't remember the exact price. I think it was like 100 bucks for the tool. And then, you know, it was probably like 30 or 40 bucks for the titanium scales and then another, you know, 30 bucks for this blade or something. I'm sure I spent around $200 on this with an extra S35VN blade, which personally, why wouldn't that just come installed on the product? Just give us the good tool right away, right? Um, and then uh, the same with the scales, like just it should come with scales, right? I get that you want to be able to make it customizable, but... Um, I think it looks bare and kind of not good without the scale. So you want the scales. Um, so give us the titanium or give us something G10 stock and then sell the extras. 
I did have fat carbon ones made, sorry, camo carbon, 80s camo carbon ones made for this. I didn't like how it looked, so they're in the box here. Here's the packaging, by the way. Um, you get this box, you get some instructions that, you know, they explain, but it, it's still kind of hard to get used to. Um, and then here's the uh, original blade, I believe it's D2, came with an absolutely atrocious Allen wrench. Um, I wish that they would start just giving you a bit. Um, I don't know why anybody uses Allen keys. Just give me a quarter inch bit that I can use because they're always slippery and they this one um, just warped and bent and it was useless. It was literally useless. Honestly, made things worse. And then I have those uh, camo carbon scales. So if anybody's interested in this, let me know. I'm definitely willing to sell it because I'm just not a huge fan at this point. Um, I hate to say that, but it's just how I feel. So I'm just you know, telling you my honest opinion. Now, I've had this for a few days, so I'm not trying to sit here and say I've had this for weeks and weeks and I've used it and, and like I have all these opinions. Um, but you know, I, I do have some experience, so I've spent hours with it at this point working on it. Um, in case anybody wants to pause and read this stuff, you can do that. Um, here's some more information, okay? Um, all right, so that is how it comes packaged, and then it comes in the nylon case, which I will say is nice. Um, it does fit in a Leatherman case pretty well. Um, it's the medium size, I believe. So that's kind of a, an overview of the, you know, initial thoughts. Um, the clip can go on any one of these slots. Um, you got to be careful with that because if you, I guess it depends on where you put it. If you want, if you're left-handed, maybe this side makes more sense. So it's deeper in the side of your pocket. And then obviously um, you don't want it to open or anything. Um, but it would just really depend on what side you have, what tool on that you would, you know. But I would think considering it's modular you could just not move the clip and just move the tool right you don't need a screw for that um to take a tool out so why not just swap this blade with this one you know and then when you take it out of your pocket you have the one that you want in your hand right so that was where my issue came in but i didn't actually give you a rundown of all the tools so a quick look at them um we have a hobby blade uh, which I did figure out how to uh, take off. You just slide this collar down and then this can come out of here. And then you just kind of pop it back into this slot, um, pin it down here, and then slide the collar back up over that to lock it in place. Now, the issue I have with it is there is major wiggle um, on this blade. So if I'm trying to use this as a hobby blade, which is what it's called, um, to do precise cutting, you're gonna struggle with that because it's just wobbly. It almost feels like it's gonna come out of there. Um, so that's not very good in my opinion. Um, so you have that, then you have um, a sort of pry bar slash flathead slash um, wrench right then you have a, another smaller flathead slash i don't know what that is some kind of threading thing or wire cutter or something another quarter inch slot then you have the actual uh, tool that can take apart the product and i'm sure f has some other function um, and then over here you have a saw okay don't know what the material is on the saw and the stock blade and everything but i think it's like d2 or something um, then on this side, you have your main blade. You can see some of my issues as we're going along here. You have your main blade. This one's an S35 VN steel. Um, you have a bit driver, which I struggle to get out without having to pull the blade up. So I have to pull the blade up because they clump together. One of those reasons is there's a freaking magnet right here. Um, and now I can get the bit driver up. I do like how it looks and everything. Very weak magnet down there, but it does uh, retain. And I tried it with a Weeha bit, worked fine. And then over here we have scissors. And the scissors, um, I've had trouble with them locking. See, like it was locking last night, but now it's just not locking. So can't lock that. And then um, you'll see it doesn't kick in right away you have to kind of get the spring to knock in 
and then they are very good scissors once you get them working um see and now it's locked so it's just a it's a very funky situation and then it clicks back in like that and there you go so and then you have the pliers that have um these little triangle uh, wire cutters and you can rotate that so you have three sides on each which is pretty cool you have a little uh area here to i guess you know turn stuff or whatever and then you have your uh i wouldn't call them needle nose but you have your pliers here which do seem good they're very even it's like pretty flush up here um i would say that that's well done well engineered all of that stuff um and you know so there's a lot of good here but um let's get into my issues clumping so clumping would be you go to take out a tool and you get five right like look at how many tools came out of there when i just try to take this all i want is this blade and i can't just get the blade i have to get all these other tools so then i have to sit here and close those because if i allow it to do what it's doing right now you can see everything comes out of there let's do this from start right so i'll just i'll just grab this and slowly rotate it out and i'll show you so now it's not locked can't lock it um and it's supposed to lock right so now i have to shut all these and now it's locked okay to unlock it you need to either push down on the short tools so you can just push like right here um, it does take some force to do it. It's really easy on this side. On the bit driver side, it's quite hard. Um, but there you go. You can do that. Or you can lift this lever to 45, I think it says. And then you can kind of close from there. So that's another way to do it. And these should all be able to uh, lock. There's also an all right here so now this one's locked push down close right you get the point on this side rotate this blade open so it's not locking have to shut this now it locks right um it is locked but there is a sh ton of motion here i don't know if you can hear it i've been told you can fail it um i haven't really messed with it I'm not a big uh, spine whacking guy, really, but it seems to hold up fine. That's not really my issue. It just wiggles a lot uh, in all directions. And then this one to to close takes a little bit more force. You have to get two fingers on there and really push on it. So it's honestly easier to use the lever on this one. Um, and then again with the scissors doesn't always lock i don't understand i guess it doesn't lock till this is open Let's see if i can get everything moving here can't get the spring to pop i gotta get the spring over somehow just kind of decides to randomly work and then it and now it's locked so maybe that's how it works i don't know uh, and then lock it back down okay so clumping right it, it's just very clunky i want one hand motion right like if I grab my charge plus here, right, one hand motion, I can do these things pretty easily. The, the items I want to get out quickly are my blade. I can actually reverse flick it on this. I don't have a bunch of up and down. There's a little bit, tiny bit of side to side, but it's not crazy. It doesn't feel like it's going to be an issue, right? I also don't feel like it's going to bang into things down here. Where this, I feel like I'm constantly worrying it's going to smack. It's like right on top of this. It's scratching along things. Like, I don't know. I, it's just not nice. Um, and then the hot swapping. Hot swapping. It's really not hot swapping. I mean, sometimes it's easy. Like, sometimes you can, you can get it out easy. Like, let's try it here. We'll, we'll mess with this blade. So, I want to get this blade out, right? Take it out. I guess they're going to wear in as you use it and maybe get better. But now the problem is everything has shifted over. I just want to get this back in. There's a magnet in here. So it's grabbing the hot swap lever. It's just making things difficult for me. Um, you shove it in and you get it upright. And then you pop the lever down and we should be good. So now when I open it back up, 
it locks. So that time it went smoothly. But I've had times where I've had to literally like shove and push and figure things out because the magnet here wants to pull that hot lever over and then there's not enough space in here. And that's one of my issues is there's no washers. At least that I can tell there's no washers. On here, you can see they have phosphor bronze washers around the tools that need them in particular. And I think that's really what keeps, you know, uh, issues. But then again, if you look at this design, they don't have all the little tools um, attached to the main tools out here, right? So this is free on its own. And then when I need something smaller, I have to come in here and grab it, right? But again, I don't have a bunch of stuff coming out with it. Like, it just, I don't know, it just works better. And then this system is very, I love this system back here. Just works really well for me. Um, but my biggest issue is I've spent literally like, an hour at this point trying to move things around and if you can't tell there every tool is exactly where it was when i got it because it didn't work what i wanted to do was get rid of this tool over here because every time i just feel like every time i tried to use the lever i ended up bringing out the the blade and nearly stabbing myself right same thing on this side you try to get this lever out and you end up with a knife blade sticking up. So I wanted to get these blades on the other side. Plus I'm left-handed, so I'm like, it'd be nice to have the, the blade right here, right? Well, I tried that and the scissors will not fit on this side. Even though it's the same tools, all I want to do is swap the blade with the scissors. They won't fit because, at least mostly I, fig I found out, because the bit driver bit driver has a magnet right here and it pulls when you have the scissors over here it pulls the blade the scissors over and then this notch right here you see this little metal piece that would hit on the side of this bit driver and it wouldn't close so i could not get the scissors to close with the bit driver there i can't move the bit driver because there's no space here so you have to have a long tool on the ends and a short tool in the middle. So nothing I could do there. Short of maybe swapping out a bunch of these, like maybe I could take out four of these and put them over here and then put the scissors here and the knife here and maybe that would work. Um, but I took, I took that out just to try to get the scissors over. And then when I was gave up, I was like, all right, I'll just put it back the way it was. It took me an hour literally an hour to get it back to the way it is because i could not get the scissors to want to go on because the scissors actually use two pieces and two hooks so it's, it's for me it was really difficult to get on and off and then i needed the space and it's, it's just really frustrating guys and then there's like a, a not a i don't know if it's like a it's not a phosphor bronze washer or anything it's just like a little ring that's in there it might serve as a washer of some sort you can't even see it right now i don't think is it on this side maybe that thing that thing was such a pain in the ass when i was trying to swap the saw with this blade um and i just couldn't get it in it you know like maybe the saw piece right here is a little thicker than the one on the hobby blade so when i tried to flip it over that piece kept getting in the way and i couldn't it just wasn't working for me and it's supposed to be an easy hot swap system so like i don't know i know part of it is me and and i'm not the most mechanically inclined person and you know it's definitely some user error i'm not gonna sit here and say it's a piece of junk and it's all you know all the tools fault no i certainly am to blame for some of this for sure but I'm not the only doofus out there, right? Um, not everybody who buys this is going to be an engineer who looks at it and goes, oh, I can, I can mathematically make sure that this piece can go here with this piece. And, oh, I could probably take this whole thing apart and swap this over to here. And then that'll make this work. And sure, I'm sure there's people who can do all that. I'm not one of those. I wanted a hot swap system, which is what I was told I was getting 
where I could easily just ping, 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 ping. And I know how it works. You saw me do it earlier. You pop the lever up, you pull the tool out, and then you slide another tool in and you close it. It really shouldn't be rocket science. But honestly, I'm pretty sure the problem is certain tools don't fit in certain places and that doesn't make it very hot swappable so you really end up and i don't know if you just noticed there but this was getting caught down here on this underneath so i couldn't open it which is going to damage your tool as look as you're trying to open it right so what you're going to say is well you probably just don't have it tight enough here you know you got to tighten this well guess what if i tighten this anymore i can't even open the tools because they're so tied down because they don't have washers in here they don't have any system that like smooths it out right like that's what's so good about this it's on washers like i can flick the dang thing it's very comfortable now again it doesn't have to compete with a bunch of other tools so it it makes it easier but you know that's that's a problem um so yeah it's just not very one handable i go to push this out and it gets caught under here it's banging on shit or i go to do this now i have to do this sure i finally got it now right and then i can one hand close it it's possible for sure it's not like terrible the blade here just getting that out right the 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 lever comes with it so now i gotta get this lever out of the way oh now I, st I cut myself and if i go too far with the lever i might end up popping the tool off so now i got the blade up now i gotta drive this oh now i gotta drive this bit driver back down now i gotta pop it back oh finally got it locked right can i one hand close this <clears throat> got it and then it makes all these clicky sounds like it's breaking but it's not you know, I, I just don't think it's refined enough. I think it needs more work. I think it needs more time in the oven. Is it a good first start? I don't know. If you waited two years for this, I waited about eight months maybe, I think, from when I found out about it and ordered it. And I mostly ordered it because I thought it was really cool. And I was just getting into multi-tools for the channel. And I thought it'd be cool to review. So I was like, shit, I'll order it, right? But if I was somebody out there who backed this two years ago and has been thinking about it for two years, I think I'd be disappointed a little bit just because, you know, you look at something like this, it's it's just immensely more refined. It just is better. I, I, I hate to say it that way. Um, now, you know, I like the spring-loaded pliers better on, on the uh, GOAT, but these work really well. Um, they haven't let me down, right? They feel solid. Everything feels really put together. And this feels more loosey-goosey. And that's what you end up having to have happen when you do something like this, right? I wish on this bit driver, the magnet should be down inside. It really should be inside. It should not be on the outside because it's literally attracting my knife blade. And I mean, there's no way around that. No matter how smooth this blade gets it's always going to have that magnet catching on the side of it i mean that's just uh, you know science or whatever um and then swapping tools just isn't as easy as it sounds like if you wanted to take this uh this saw off and switch it with the scissors it wouldn't work why because the scissors are double wide so you'd have to take two tools out probably and put two tools over here. Then you also have to make sure whatever you're putting in is has to equal long tool equals long tool, right? Can't swap this one with that one, you know? Um, so I think this tool in particular is for the people who bought like all the extra tools and they want to just swap out one thing for another extra thing it's not for people like me who want to move this shit around like i want to move the tools around i'm left-handed i just want the knife over here right like sure i guarantee you i could swap the scissors let's try it let's give it a try let's just see if i can do it that'll be nice right we'll see and then i'll shut up so we're gonna pop this up let me take this out okay then we're going to do the same thing over here take this out uh, da, 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 da. try to be careful okay i'm gonna pop this up and that hobby blade is gonna come to stab me all right pop this up i'm gonna take this out all right and then we're gonna weasel this guy in here come on baby 
Come on, baby. And we're going to weasel. Or actually, let's just shut this one. Hey, hey, hey. Working out here. So far, so good. See that little ring? That's the ring I was talking about. Come on, baby. Yes, look at this. Okay. Hey, it's working. Boom. It worked. We did it. Left-handed blade. But it comes out with the all. There we go. I got it. And then if I want to close it, boom. Look at that. Hell yeah. And then on this side, I want my saw. Less likely to use this saw, right? So not as big of a deal that it's um, going to be bound up with that bit driver. That's nice. Okay, so we pulled that off. Uh, now, it would be really nice if I could swap the scissors with the hobby blade, I think. I would like that. But I really don't even want to attempt it because I really had this huge... It took me forever to get um, to get this scissors back in. And um, I really don't think it's going to fit because I would have to take... Let me just see. How thick is that? Well, that one scissor tool should be about the same thickness, right? Is that the measurement we're looking at it's possible it would work it's possible 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 but i still think this little tab is going to get caught on this chisel and cause a bunch of issues yeah so i'm not going to do it that's what happened last time it needs to be on an end piece so you might be able to switch the um this blade out with the scissors but that's kind of useless because i need the you know i need this over here so, I don't know. It just doesn't have the uh, the swap ability that I really thought it was going to have. And, I don't know. Again, a lot of this is personal preference and stupidity on my end. But I do think there's a lot to be refined here. And um, is it a good uh, concept and everything? Yes. I think it's cool. Um, I think there's a lot of good here if you picked one up. But I also think there could be some some refinement going on um so feel free to butcher me down in the comments on um you know uh, how bad i am at using this tool but i'd also like to hear if anybody agrees with me if you have one or whatever and if anybody's looking for one of these hey hit me up um i will sell it to you i was thinking i think i spent like 200 bucks on the tool and the scales and everything. And then I spent another hundred dollars on the camo carbon scales. Um, so I was going to, you know, sell it for like one fifty dollars altogether if anybody wants it, but, um, not sure if that'll happen. So <laughs> let me know. Otherwise it's going to stay and, um, you know, I'll throw it in my truck or wherever and I'll have an extra tool and, you know, maybe I'll come to love it and all of that. Um, the company has done really well. So, you know, I don't think I'm going to do them any damage with this video, but I just want to give my honest take. I've just been very frustrated with it. And, um, you know, that might change over time. So there you go. I love you guys. Thank you for watching this short version. And uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.